So, Alan, we've had a really fun time at our flight school, at our aerobatic school, teaching people airmanship and skills that are going to keep them safe and give them confidence. And for me, ultimately, um, I want people to enjoy flying more. Yeah, and what better place to do it than here in St. Augustine, Florida, one of the most beautiful places to do it. We're so lucky. We are so lucky. Every time so. I take off, I look down and see the ocean and the intercoastal, I'm like, this is too good to be true sometimes. This is pretty amazing, this location. So, so you know, I think it was originally your idea to, um, to bring our, our teaching techniques and, and uh, what we teach, all, you know, a lot of students um, to video. And uh, I think it was, I think it was, you, you put that bug in my head. It, it was a rough idea. Uh, I just wanted to see if we could meet more uh, or, or introduce this type of flying to more people. And, uh, and the ones that do show up here, we can uh, expand on, uh, give them some other information and, yeah. and uh, aids and, and they're uh, going for aerobatic learning. So I contacted Sporties. I started thinking about it. It, it kind of had to percolate a little bit. And then I contacted Sporties and said, you know, I thought about who would be a good partner. And, and Sporties was my, my first aviation um, Christmas. When I first was getting my license, my husband gave me a Sporties Christmas. So Sporties has been a part of this. That was 1980, a part of my flying history since the very beginning. So Sporties Christmas, I still have a picture of me with my David Clark headset at the time and my Sporties flight bag and my cushion. And he's like, and I'm like, from now on, no jewelry, just Sporties <laughs> just Christmas, it's great. <laughs> and uh, it's been like that ever since. So, so when I thought about who to partner with, of course, Sporties was my first choice. And when they, they said, yeah, we're looking for something like that. I was really, we were both really excited. Yeah, super marketing, uh, oh. super company, so. Yeah, privileged and, and to be the guys are pretty with. fun to work with. I guess. Yeah, they sure are. Yeah, yeah even though we time. give them a hard time. Um, so the first video, Introduction to Aerobatics, has been really well received. Excellent. Um, I've got a ton of comments. I hope we encourage all our students to watch it before they come yes. to fly with us. And I know you've heard from a lot of people. I have, yes. It's, it's, uh, it's fun to hear what people's comments are and stuff. And now what I'm hearing is that they want more. They want more. They want to learn, really, really get into depth on how these maneuvers work. We told them a little bit about how to do the maneuver in the introduction, but that was more informational. Now we're doing the basics, fundamentals of aerobatics, mm -hmm. loop, roll, spin. Fundamentals. Fundamental. That's where everybody starts in Everyone. any flight school in the, the world, you know, basically any aerobatic school. So um, we're going to go into great depth about all the little tips and techniques, common errors, how to fix them, and what to do if you get into trouble. And, and what next? And what next? Well, we can expand into the vertical, the, <laughs> the, the vertical uh, maneuvers. We can expand into... I love the way the, you say vertical. That's the way, you know, you talk to your students. I hear you in there. It is the proper enunciation, <laughs> even though you, most people may not know Well, they're know that. great, because I think everybody has a little trepidation when they first come to learn something new, you they know? Sure do. And then Ellen starts talking about the vertical and the this, and, and they start laughing and they relax right away. Yeah, so, But good. yeah, we could take it into that. What about combinations of maneuvers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sequences, uh, of course, from the loop, You've got the half Cuban, you've got yeah. the Immelman. Loop and roll, put those the together. Loop and roll together. We've got going only quarter loop. We can go to the vertical, uh, yeah. have hammerhead, humpty bumps. It's kind of endless, isn't it? It is endless, yeah. I, I'm still learning. I've been doing this a long time and I'm still learning. I have too. Every flight so, I learn something new. Yeah, I know you get up in the box with your cassette racer and you, t you tell me about it and like how much you learned on that flight even. Yeah, every time. Me yeah, too. It's fantastic. So we can, I think we can continue this for a while. As long as they can put up with us, we can keep feeding information, and uh, and it's fun because we talk about the the aerodynamics and all the details, and and we I know we come in sometimes in the morning and go, hey, last night I was laying in bed at you know ten at ten at night or two in the morning, and I thought about that one sentence in the video. It's so fun, and then we get these air, toy airplanes and we we work through it, and so I mean the learning curve is huge for me yeah, and um, me as well. Always. Yeah, I learn I'm learning so much through this process. Yeah. So so okay, give me five. Give me a fist bump. We're going to keep going on we'll this. We'll keep going All with right. 40s. Cool.